Yes. So we have already studied the start or the sorry the preparation of your monosaccharide that is glucose. So if you prepare glucose from uh, the uh, disaccharide that is sucrose and also from a polysaccharide called starch, right? So we've done both the lab method and your commercial method. Remember, your sucrose and your polysaccharide that is starch both are non-reducing sugars. They will not reduce filling solution or tolerance uh, reagent. So if they asked you for one mark question remember both your sucrose as well as your starch both are non-reducing sugars they don't have free aldehyde or ketonic group present in them so let us come back now gradually from the preparation let us learn the structures of your monosaccharides gradually preparation done we will go to the structures open chain structure fissure projection that is your cyclic structures have all structures right let us come back so let us write the heading structure of monosaccharide so, when I write structure of monosaccharides. So, when I speak about structures of monosaccharides, the example which I am going to pick up is your first example, glucose. The second example would be fructose. Let us learn ribose structure and deoxyribose structure right now so when i speak about glucose glucose is a hexose ring hexose that means there's six carbon atoms right fructose is also hexose it also has six carbon atoms ribose is a pentose sugar okay pentose it has only five carbon atoms in its uh, structure and deoxyribose also is pentose yeah, let us start. So, when I speak about glucose structure, as I said, the formula is C6H12O6, correct? C6H12O6. Here also it is C6H12O6. Let us write this and come back to that. So, 6 carbon atom, observe carefully. The, what is the other name given for uh, glucose? The other name given for glucose is aldohexose. That means there is an aldehyde group present. So, here this is called keto okay, I write it here it is called keto hexose it is a ketonic group present now in glucose the six carbons 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay. now your first carbon has an aldehyde group that's why it is called aldohexose now your second carbon has an H and OH on either side now it is number is 1 2 3 4 five six right now your third carbon has is a twist oh and h bonds fourth carbon h and oh fifth carbon h and oh and your sixth carbon has ch2 oh i'll tell you why when we've derived it from glyceraldehyde okay i'll show you that also gradually so remember first carbon has aldehyde group the second HOH, third OH and H, fourth HOH, fifth is again HOH and the sixth is CH2OH. Now what happens to fructose? Fructose also is a six carbon chain or six carbon. So in your first, let us now write first one, two, three, four, five, six. Correct? Yes. Now your first carbon and the last carbon you have CH2OH group, it's CH2OH groups, right? Now, in the second carbon, you have a ketone group. C double bond is ketone. So, because of this presence of ketone, it is called ketohexose. Yes, ketohexose. Yeah, so this is your ketonic group, second carbon. Now, third carbon from third carbon, it's the same. You see, your OH, H, third carbon. What is fourth carbon again? H and OH. Fifth carbon again, H and OH. The sixth carbon already added. Yes, done. That's very easy. So, just see here, first carbon is aldehyde group. Here, second carbon is ketonic group. Here, last carbon is CH2OH. And here, the last carbon is CH2OH. And the third is OHH. And the third is OHH. So, let us come back and see ribose. As I said, it is a pentose sugar. So, only five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Right now, let us write here also one, two, three, four, five. Five. Now, <clears throat> this also has an aldehyde group in the first carbon. This also has an aldehyde group in the first carbon. 
yeah now observe this particular uh, around carbon you have once correct yes so let me uh, see this uh, here what happens in the uh, first uh, second carbon you have hnoh third again same fourth again same and fifth has ch2h now let us come to deoxyribose now remember in deoxyribose all these are similar hydrogen atoms this also is similar ch2oh similar but here when i am going here the third and fourth most important in the second carbon there is no oxygen in that's why it is called deoxo oxyribose remember once again in the second carbon there is no oxygen uh, uh, beside hydrogen this is missing in deoxyribose but in ribose you have oxygen right so aldehyde aldehyde group same H and OH. This is the difference. There is no oxygen, hence called deoxyribose. Remaining both are same. The last carbon also same. So please note the structures of monosaccharides. One, two, three, four. Yes.